Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'll be making um, Southern Style Collard Greens my way. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> so I just wanted to go over ingredients really quick. I have my Tony Saturi seasoning right there, garlic, pepper, paprika, chili flakes, um, onion, and my smoked ham hock right here in my two bags of collard greens. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the allspice as of yet, but I did want to use it to see how the flavor profile would be because, you know, I try out a lot of recipes all the time. So hey but anyway um yes i'm gonna throw everything in my pressure cooker and let it go <laughs> in my pressure cooker so far i have my two ham hocks to this i'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of the tony saturies down in here a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika a teaspoon and a half of my red chili flakes or pepper flakes, whichever one you have, um, some pepper. These spices are totally up to your taste, by the way. Um, some garlic powder. And I'm actually gonna use the allspice berries, so I'm gonna use only two of them. It's omittable, you do not have to use those allspice berries, it's totally fine without it. And I'm also going to add, um, that's it for right now, as a matter of fact. I'm not putting anything else in here right now. Everything else is going to go in once I start adding my greens. Now, this is the pressure cooker that I'm using. The button, the one that I'm going to use here is the beans because the beans go longer in the pressure cooker. It's a longer time, and I really want my ham hocks to go for a long time until they fall apart. So um, if this is a pressure cooker you're using, hit the um, bean option so it could go longer and be more tender. Okay, guys, so I put my two bags of collard greens down in here. Now I'm going to add four tablespoons of butter. I also removed all my meat and cut it, the meat off the bones and um, set it to the side. Now I'm adding my onion in that I showed y'all earlier. And also all that meat back down in there. Um, oh. Then I'm going to go in here with a couple teaspoons of vinegar. A couple teaspoons or tablespoons it's up to what you prefer of hot sauce use the hot sauce that you prefer and I'm also gonna go in here with a teaspoon of honey you can use sugar if you want to use sugar but I'm using honey and yeah I think that's it I'm gonna put the bones back in also and I'm gonna let this simmer for another 45 minutes or so I'm trying to hold it so y'all can see because it's fogging up the phone but y'all, look at these collard greens, like, yes. Mm, mm, mm. This is about 25 minutes in. I'm going to give it another 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to turn it off. Now, if you like your collard greens cooked to death, you know, go right ahead, but I don't. So, yeah, I gave it 40 minutes to cook. <laughs> And I'm also making some mashed potatoes, so I'm going to show y'all how I do that in a minute. So far, my potatoes, I have 8 ounces of cream cheese. Then I'm going to add some butter. That was about 3 tablespoons. I'm going to add 2 stalks of scallions. Pepper. Salt, because I didn't salt my water, but if you salted your water, make sure you taste your potatoes before you add salt at the end. And some milk. So I'm going to mix this up, get it nice and creamy, and then I'm going to show you guys what it all looks like. And this is what it looks like. All I wanted today was a bowl of mashed potatoes and collard greens, and I made it happen. So... <laughs> If you enjoyed this recipe as much as I did, um, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching my videos. To my subscribers that watch me faithfully, I really appreci appreciate you guys. Like, I really do. Don't forget to um, follow me on my social media networks, especially my Instagram, if you don't want to miss daily recipes and videos. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time on my next video. And have a happy, blessed new week. Okay.
Bye.